looking forward to the next phase once I get more of this done is coming in here figuring out where I'm going to put the diesel heater I was going to put it down under there but there was no way to get to it so I'm thinking here or maybe even up higher on a shelf because the pump is going to go outside in the front in the nose so it won't be so loud but then I have to figure out where my piping is going to go it goes around here because the toilet's going to be right here I'm not sure how far back yet I gotta figure all that out and that'll determine where that goes I might have to go a little bit more that way hot water heater is going up there but it might go over here you know, decisions, decisions. Oh well, that's what's coming up pretty soon. Setting up to install the leg hinges and the legs. Getting my center. Get a little reflection there. But uh, I use tape on here so I don't mark up the wood. And it uh, lets me make lots of changes if necessary. So I think I've got where I'm going to put the hinges and uh, then I can start building the legs for it. The legs will actually be two piece legs, which I'll show you as I go. Here's one installed. Just going to make the leg and it's ready to go. My little setup for getting it centered and in the right spot. Getting there, I've got the uh, two short legs made and I'm going to have to uh, do extensions. Put a, probably put a uh, metal uh, screw insert in here and then a bolt into the other leg to make up the distance that I need to reach the floor so it's getting there putting my uh, Murphy work table to work what this I made a quick little jig here to find the center of this to put in a insert 10 um, number 10 by 20 thread insert so I've got four of those to make four centers to make so I need to get them all the same so they line up so I just made a quick little jig here that I can do that with okay got my center marked now I'll put a hole in there and put a screw up just enough to make a dimple in the end of this and that'll give me the center and they should all line up okay got a screw in there as you can see it's just sticking up less than a quarter of an inch make sure I get you a file here and two and since it is sticking out back here I use one of my old plug holes Stick it down on the plug, and as you can see, I'm going to put one right in the center. Just have to put it in there and tap it. And now I've got a nice hole right in the exact center. Now I can do put my threaded inserts here. In the other one, I'll put a 10 by 20, a quarter by 20, I should say, bolt in and cut it off. And then I can screw these legs together to give me the height I need to hold that table level. Yep, another one right in there. Make sure we get a good hole there. Yep, nice hole right there. All right, on to the next step. Next step, 
put one of the threaded inserts in into the hole here. These are really nice, especially on soft wood. And you can pull it down just past the surface, just a little bit. And then I've got another one. And these are one quarter twenties on the inside. tighter for some reason, which is okay. Put it down, just flush her a little below, and there you have it, two of those. This is the upper set of legs, so here's where it goes into the bracket. And uh, this one's the other one, left and right. So I'll actually put another set in here and then I'll epoxy the quarter 20 screws into the lower leg set so that it doesn't come out when I unscrew it. And so what will happen is I'll pull these out and before I let loose to lower it, what I'll do is I'll screw in the lower legs and that will give me the distance I need to make it level. All these legs will be trimmed after the flooring goes in anyway so they'll be exact because the flooring is going to be at least a quarter inch and some under padding to it another eighth inch so these will all be taken down about three eighths of an inch and they'll come off the lower legs or the leg itself, depending on which set I'm doing at the time. There we go. Looks good to me.